Hey everybody, Seth Davis here for CampusInsiders.com. I am joined by one of the iconic cult heroes of college basketball the last couple of years, Nate Walters. You know him as a senior guard from South Dakota State University, all the way from Brookings, South Dakota, now getting ready for the NBA draft. Um, when you look over your college career, uh, Nate, how unlikely is it to think about where your mindset was four years ago coming into college to the point where now you're on the verge of potentially playing in the NBA. Is that something that you would, would you, was even in the realm of possibility in your mind starting in, in college? No, not at all. I mean, everyone dreams as a little kid to play in the NBA, but I never thought it was a possibility. Um, going into college, I was more worried about trying to play at the Division One level, and um, South Coast State gave me that opportunity, so I was grateful for it. What kind of other options did you have in terms of your college choice? Were you not, heavily recruited? Yeah, I was pretty late recruited. Um, South Coast State was the first uh, D1 team to offer me. Um, I think it was my junior summer going to my senior season. And I had a couple more at the end of my senior year, uh, Colorado State and North Dakota State. But in the end, I uh, decided to go with South Dakota State. And I mean, it's, it was a great choice. So why do you think you flew under the radar so much as a, as a high school player? Um, I was a little undersized. I grew a couple inches uh, my senior season. Um, got more athletic and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I mean, Minnesota didn't recruit me at all. I didn't have any high majors. Um, so I thought I was a Division II guy um, my junior season in high school. <laughs> How crazy is that? Were you but okay with that? I mean, if that's the I worst thing. I definitely want, yeah, it's the worst thing. I just want to play college basketball more than anything. That's pretty amazing to think that now, um, potentially being a pro player. We were talking a little while ago about the game, your junior season, when you won at Washington on their home floor and you scored how many points that night? 34. 34. Who's, who remembers these things? Um, <laughs> how much did that change your life that game? Um, it was big. Um, I think it gave me confidence that I can play with anyone in the country. Um, and it was a huge win for our program, uh, being a team like Washington with a couple first round draft picks and they're a talented team. So yeah, it kind of changed my perspective, um, my goals. And now it was my goal ever since that game was playing the NBA. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I think the most, probably the best win that I think you had in college was this past year when you won at New Mexico. Share with everybody the story about how you got to New Mexico. You won in the pit against yeah. a, a highly ranked team. Unusual circumstances getting there to say the least. Yeah, right? definitely. 24-hour um, bus drive isn't the funnest thing. You were uh, coming from where? Uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, we just came. Actually, yeah, we played on a Wednesday night. Uh, we got crushed to Belmont by like 30. So no one was too happy. Uh, it wasn't a happy bus drive at all. Um, people were kind of sick of each other. Um, we got into Albuquerque on Saturday night and played Sunday at noon. So we didn't really have a scouting report or anything like that. Just went out and played and I mean, got a huge win for the program. So something to be said maybe for not having a scouting report. Yeah, Sometimes exactly. I feel like coaches over-prepare their players with all these notes mm. and scouting reports and hours of film work and then something like that happens and kind of... Yeah, yeah. We, just, we just played loose, had nothing to lose. Um, didn't really know too much about New Mexico and it worked out. I like it, I like it. So tell me, what, what are you trying to accomplish between now and the NBA draft to convince people that they should take you? Um, just trying to work on my jump shot. Um, that's been a question mark of my, or of what people have said about me. Um, and just trying to stay in front of the quicker guards. Um, being a, being a taller, yeah, defensively, being a taller guard. Um, and not being super explosive or super athletic, um, defense has been a question of mine, and that's something I think I can, I can, can succeed at and be a pretty good defender in the league if uh, when asked upon. Last question, Nate, because I know that you look at this, there's a big party that says you just still can't believe this is happening to you. But now that it's on the verge of happening, when you watch an NBA game, I'm sure you watch no playoffs like, like everybody else. When you watch an NBA game, NBA game, are you thinking, gosh, man, I just don't know if I can, I can be out there? Or are you looking at that and saying, yeah, I belong inside that television set. Yeah, definitely. Um, I got confidence in myself and definitely can play at that level. Um, try to watch as many games as possible and learn with what they will learn uh, some of the players and their tendencies and what they do. Um, yeah, I definitely think I can succeed. And there's players like me that have succeeded. So, I mean, I've confidence in myself. Well, the world needs more Jackrabbits in the NBA. We know <laughs> definitely. that. Definitely. Nate, it was really it. a pleasure to watch you play college basketball. Thank Truly. you. Best of luck in the future. Okay? Appreciate it. Well, Thanks for having me. Next interview will be at the All-Star Game when you're voting. <laughs> yeah, <All right>. definitely. <laughs> I'll take that. Future All-Star Nate <laughs> Walters. Keep it right here on CampusInsiders.com for coverage of all your college sports.